five times bigger than the bull shark is the great white. Attacks by great whites on humans are rare. Cases caught in detail on camera are rarer. Eric Ritter is keen to examine the role size played. In 1994, passengers and crew of a boat cruising the Pacific seized the chance to cool off. I was working in the galley on the ship and we were preparing for a barbecue. We were about 300 miles east of Easter Island, just out in the middle of the Pacific. It was, you know, warm. You know, I'd never been in water like that. It was just, you know, it was really clear and blue. And, and a guy just suddenly yelled, shark. By chance, an amateur video camera captured the moment when a great white struck. the camera finished recording, Heather Boswell had suffered not one, but two bites from a great white. The footage is by far the most detailed record of a great white attack. I turned around and I saw his dorsal fin. It was, just, it was huge, you know, it was kind of towering over me in the water. And then that's when the shark started chewing on my right leg. This is the moment when the shark bites Heather for the first time. It didn't hurt at all. It was just kind of like a puppy chewing on your finger. You know, it didn't hurt. It was just kind of, you know, just happening. Seeing Heather under attack, an inflatable boat comes round. A would-be rescuer reaches out a broom handle to her. The shark came up and grabbed me and pulled me under. And I remember I had the stick in my hand because it jerked it out of the people on the boat, you know, their hand, because it was, you know, just such a hard jerk. This time, the great white bit down hard. I didn't feel the pain of him biting on my left leg. And when he shook me underwater, it didn't hurt. I just remember it was really, really rough. You know, I felt like a rag doll. And then when he brought me back up and they, the people on the boat played a tug of war, I didn't feel pain then either. All I felt was a pop. The shark bit off most of my leg, about a little above mid-thigh. Um, yeah, I think I have about five inches of femur left, something like that. But he took it off. 